Hi everyone, my name is Michael Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm showing a really cool floor plan by Keystone Sprinter. It's the 3531 floor plan, which is the rear den. Uh, really a practical floor plan. I'm going to turn this camera around and we will jump right into it. So the Keystone Springdale was actually Keystone's first brand back many, many years ago, and they're still one of their more flagship products. Uh, comes with a lot of nice features that add a lot of value without the crazy price tag that you see on some fifth wheels. So this fifth wheel is also unique. It's been rated from the manufacturer. So from Keystone, they've rated this fifth wheel to sustain temperatures from zero degrees all the way up to 100 degrees. In other words, they, they make sure the inside is going to be comfortable for you from zero degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you want to camp in this in the cool, cool winter-like temperatures, it's rated for that. Or if you want to camp in this in the, in the hot, hot desert sun, it's rated for that too. So uh, the way they do that is they have a thicker wall, better insulation, and the best are uh, appliances in place of uh, uh, furnaces and air conditioners that the industry provides. So. All right, comes with the solid fiberglass front cap up here. That's a fully automotive painted front cap. Has a Sprinter decal and LED light strip above that. Also comes with the Road Armor uh, pin box up here. So this is going to be a pivoting head pin box. That's going to reduce the chucking that you get uh, when you're pulling your fifth wheel. Also, it comes with the Keystone three-year structural warranty, uh, which is the best warranty I've seen come from a manufacturer since I've been doing this for about 10 years. Three slide outs on this side here. Two big propane bottles that are the 30 pounders and really big storage up front here. So I love this about fifth wheel. So you get all this basement storage and Keystone Sp Sprinter has really finished it out well with the linoleum on the floor, uh, the wall boards on the both sides. And then I love how they leave a little bit of the construction in here so you can see how well built this is. So I always say the Sprinters are overbuilt, meaning they've got more more product than what's needed, but that's good. Uh, it's nice to have overbuilt RVs. That means they're gonna last a good long time. This whole compartment as well is heated. So if you wanna put some liquids in there, that compartment's as rated from zero to 100, just like the rest of the fifth wheel. So two slide outs on this. This does have the four point leveling system. Uh, just push a button and it auto levels. There's one of the jacks, there's three others, uh, which includes the two front tucks, the two front landing gear. Ladder to get up onto the roof to do the roof maintenance. It is a fully walkable roof too. The Keystone Sprinters are 100 inches wide. The competition's gonna be 96 inches, so you gain four inches and you think, Mike, so what, four inches, that, what a big deal. I tell you what, four inches in RVs, when you're only gonna have you know, 96 or 100 to work with, really means a lot because you can do a lot of different stuff with the floor plans, right? two axles here both have the alloy wheels which look really sharp has the lippert step four entry step to get up in and the large grab handle to help you out again this is the 3531 fw den weighs just under 11,000 pounds so you're gonna need a three-quarter or one-ton pickup truck for this no doubt all right, as we walk in, we walk into the kitchen. A lot of countertop space here. Deep countertop as well. Really a pretty kitchen. You can tell someone with designer type qualities has designed this. Has this really cool booth here. Same type of countertop that's uh, on the kitchen counters is on the booth table, uh, which shows you, you know, they spent a little extra money on that to do that. Also, the Sprinters, I love how big the window is in. That window is so big, I can't even get it in the full frame of this camera here. Backsplash along uh, right behind the stove here, so it's going to be easy to keep clean. Uh, the stove itself is a three burner gas range. Stainless steel oven. I love underneath the countertops, it's got indirect, indirect LED lighting. Storage is, is not scarce at all in this fifth wheel. So a lot of drawers, four just right there that come out all the way. Big sink, it's got the single basin stainless steel sink, which I've done videos in the past. If you watch them, you know I like this, this single basin over the dual basin any day. A lot of light switches, a lot of power outlets. There's USB and normal. There's another normal one. So plenty of spot for, you know, coffee maker, that kind of stuff. A little bit of a spice rack up here. 
some nice lighting as well. All right, this floor plan I really appreciate for a number of reasons. One is the flow. So I'm looking towards the rear of the fifth wheel and it flows right from the kitchen, which is definitely separate into the living room. A lot of new homes are built like this. It makes it easy to congregate, which really that's what camping is all about, spending time, with your spending time with your friends and family members, right? So it makes it easy and initiates that conversation. Before I get too far, last part of the kitchen has a big pantry nice solid wood door too it's a heavy door tells you it's quality with a motion detecting light in there so as i open the door that light switched on all right so onto the living room so there's three places to sit here there's two couches on this now these two couches here this one on the right and this one on the left are going to come out for extra sleeping they're actually rv couches built for rvs and they're comfortable to not only sit on as a couch but also to sleep on they come out to queen size beds to give you an idea and both of these can be out at the same time so what i love about this floor plan is we get a lot of people say hey we want guests over but we don't have them over every weekend or every time we use the camper. So we just want to have the ability for them to sleep, but we don't want to bunk rooms because that takes up space. This is the floor plan for you because you can fold these couches out when the guests are there at night and you can fold them up in the morning, right? So it's just there if you need it, but this is not wasted space. This is a fun space right here. And then this, uh, this right here is going to be your theater seats, has beverage, sold, beverage holders in the center console, and they also recline. They're made by Thomas Payne, which is more of a high-end furniture company for RVs. And they all, three seatings areas, have really good direct viewing of this 50-inch television that this printer comes with. Below the television is a built-in sound bar, which if you have ever bought and listened to a flat screen television, you know how the sound's usually not very good. So it's nice to have a sound bar to hook to that TV. And then below here is your fireplace and space heater. Nice, um, almost like zero clearance. It's, it's just a really cool, more modern look. And then plenty of cabinet work, as you can see, all around the fridge or all around the TV and uh, for your different storage items there. Big windows in the slide rooms. All right, so walking through the kitchen, up the couple steps, nice solid steps, so they're not carpeted steps, which I appreciate. And then we just passed the entrance door to give you an idea. And then right here on the wall is your command center. This is gonna be your slide controls, your awning control, uh, also your water heater is gas or electric. So if you got a campsite and you already paid for the electric, just use the electric side of the water heater. Don't burn up your gas. And then you got some lighting controls and then your monitor panel, which will tell you your levels of your different tanks. All on that control panel, so you don't have a million buttons on the wall. It's all nicely organized on that panel. And then your heating and air conditioning control right, be right beside it. All right, so again, I'm walking up the steps now. There's two doors, one straight ahead, one to the left. This one to the left is your bathroom, which is all in one. And I love the Sprinter bathrooms because they have one piece shower fiberglass deal it's not two pieces the tub's not a piece the wall surrounds not are not separate pieces it's one piece so that tells me it's expensive and it tells me it's easy to clean it tells me it's going to look good for years to come i like that i put those in my house and uh, those are definitely a higher end product there good storage in here for your extra towels and toilet paper nice footprint you can easily get dressed in the morning in here and then you do have some counter space to work with with an electrical outlet for the hair dryers and things of that sort maybe electric razors all right bathroom check all right bedroom solid door to come in uh, it's a king bed now rvs you're, you see king bed all the time you're like mike now all these king beds are the same, and that's true. But this king bed is the same size king bed as if you would have one in your house. It's a, a 70 by 80 king bed. I just I about had a brain fart. But yeah, 70 by 80, which is the same size as what's in your house if you have a king bed. Has uh, windows in the slide room that open so you can get some cross ventilation on a nice day like today. Uh, this one does have the extra air conditioner in it uh, so two air conditioners all together that's an option and then i love the closet up here it has these really cool old school barn uh, hardware to open up these closet doors and uh, there's your closet hanging rod and a shelf above a lot of floor space too and then over here we've got more storage and then this space down here is kind of a multi-purpose space it's prepped for a washer dryer combo, has the plumbing uh, prep there and the electrical prep there. So if you want to use that, it's right there. And then at the foot of the bed, we have your uh, 
chest of drawers, five drawers all together. So a lot of storage there. All right, so that completes this walkthrough in this Keystone Sprinter 3531. So I kind of jumbled through some stuff here. So apologize about that, but I hope I was clear. Uh, I'll post some links below that has some information about this uh, fifth wheel, like our current inventory of it, our current pricing of it, some pictures of all that. Also, if you don't know who we are, I'm going to post a link about who we are. Uh, and really all it is is our Google reviews because I, I feel like I can tell you a day and night who we are, but really, uh, I think you will believe real customers uh, over some guy on YouTube. So check out our Google review, reviews from real customers of ours who have traveled hundreds of miles to do business with us. So if you're thinking about doing business with us but unsure who we are, check those out. Hear it from the horse's mouth, so to say. Uh, also, I'll post a finance tab below. Rates right now, boy, are they low. So if you're looking to finance, definitely take advantage of that opportunity. You can fill an app right out on our website and it doesn't lock you into anything. Um, what else? I'll trade in apps. So if you look at upgrade, we've got a really cool trade in form on our website. The web guys have really spent a lot of time on that allows us to put a value on your trade without even seeing it. So that's amazing. So I'm going to stop jabbing because I feel like I'm out of words. So thanks for watching.